And this is the master bedroom. Mm-hmm. Very suitable for a newly wedded couple, don't you think? I'm sure it is very expensive. It's not something you can't afford, Chief. <laughs> and I bet there's so much that can go on on this bed. Yeah, absolutely. For the newlyweds, yes. <laughs> and for two concerts in <laughs> I'm sure this place needs a taste, Chief. Just like you. Eh? Francis, Francis. Ah, Chief, with all due respect, I've said several times, I don't date Mary. See, this is the problem with you. All this church, 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 holier than thou, this thing. Eh? You are almost 40. See, instead of you to calm down and let us help your situation. As what, your fourth wife? Who uh, sack on the other three and move you up the ladder? I remove shame from your head. There is no shame in my game. Thank you very much. I'm fine just the way I am, Chief. You are just stubborn like your father. Eh? So, Chief, are you taking this place or not? I'm sure my sons will like... My son will like this... Uh, and his wife. Ah. Fantastic. So, can I prepare the papers? Ten years or more. Been buying properties from you. Do you understand? And, and let's have customer relations. Chief, let me just do these papers and let's seal the deal. Hmm? What do you say? Um, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Let's go. How are you? I'm doing good. How's your day been? Awesome. Great. Oh, how are preparations for the singles convention coming along? Actually, everything is ready. Really? Mm hmm. Wow. Sister Frances? Sister Frances? Hmm? <laughs> you okay? Perfect. Okay. All right. So, um, I'll see you in the church hall, okay? Fellowship has almost started. Yeah, no problem. Wait, one more thing. Hmm? You are coming to fellowship, right? Absolutely. Great. I'll yeah. see you there. All right. Good evening. Compliment. Thank you. What? Madam. Except maybe you be like say my eye they deceive me. I beg madam. You be like say your radiator you leak. My radiator? What happened to it? Ah! What is it? Ah! And you am scared. Madam, turn your bell and see. Your radiator is a leak. There's nothing leaking now. Madam! Madam, turn back. Ambulance! Ambulance! 
Hello, Daddy. Oh, Frances. Frances, I have been calling and calling. I'm sorry, I had a very important client oh, here. really? Anyway, I've got good news for you. Really? What is it? I am getting married. To a third one? Of course, they want her to bear me a son. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Um, are you all right, Francis? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you are not. You are almost 40, you do not have a husband, and you say you are fine. You are not fine. Can we not do this, please? And when I say you should allow me to choose a husband for you, you won't. But you are busy running after these pastors going from one church to the other, carrying church on your head, paying fat, fat tights. And these pastors will not pity you and marry you. Maybe when you are 50, you know, you are 50 years, you come. I will give you one of my friends to marry you. Yes, maybe that's what you want. Okay, daddy, I love you too. Ciao. Huh? It's simple. Visualization and meditation, that's, that's the key to success. That is the key to success for every one of us here, okay? And speaking of success, I would like to take this moment to appreciate the efforts of one of our sisters here that made this convention a success. And with that being said, I would love to invite the one and only, the beautiful Sister Frances. A round of applause, please. Hi, Sister Frances. Come. The Lord is reversing you, so sit down. Hey. Sorry, Pastor. I, I just felt the Lord telling me some things to just tell her before she spoke to the congregation. The red dragon is alive. <laughs> oh, mommy. Can we have your wrapper? Please. What? Your wrapper? Why? You want me to give us the wrapper? Mommy, we need the wrapper. <laughs> Let the Lord use you to bless us. Uh. There's something about it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. He released the wrapper. And I said, I should all use it. And just, he's speaking to me about wrapping. <laughs> just be going. Okay, a round of applause for Sister Frances. Thank you. The scans and tests show that you have what we call an intramural myeloma. And the pattern shows itself to be submucous and multiple as well. Myoma is a fibroid growth. Mm -hmm. And um, the way yours is set up is such that the growths are spread around multiple points of your womb. Um, it sounds serious, is it? Yes, it is. But it's not deadly. Surgery can take care of it. Okay. I see from your files that you're still single. Any children? Uh, no. I strongly recommend you take care of that first. No, well, I would have to get married first. 
Things have changed. People aren't really going in that particular order anymore, are they? Yeah, but what about this surgery requires that I have a child first? That's a good question. Like I said before, the surgery isn't risky. But the way the growth is set up is such that it's spread around multiple points of your womb. Meaning that, should we engage in surgery, there'll be excessive bleeding. To stop this bleeding, we'll have to take out the organ that's causing the bleeding. In this case, it'll be your womb. Is, is, is there any other option? I'm afraid not. Look, permit me to say this. You're a very beautiful woman. You're successful as well. Mm -hmm. Getting a man to get you pregnant, it shouldn't be difficult, should it? With all due respect, like I said, I'd like to do it the Christian way. Actually get married and then have children. Like I said earlier on, times have changed. Well, Christian standards haven't. My job here is to give you my professional medical recommendation, which I've done. After this, the choice is yours. How long do I have? Give or take 12 months maximum. So I know you just suggested, well, you requested something in VI, yeah. Yeah. and um, for your budget, I think it's great. You see, I have many options, mm -hmm. but there's somewhere else I wanted you to consider. Mm -hmm. you, um, Bola, please want me to get my phone and tell them what I need uh. to do. So, you know, Echo Atlantic mm -hmm. is about to open up mm -hmm. and it is going to be phenomenal. Really? However, that money will not get you two story building. Okay? Wow. I, I still think you should see. It's past the truth. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Okay. We could keep together. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Hello, Pastor Jude. Sister Frances, can you come see me? Come and see you? Yes. Like, right now? Yes, 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 yes. But if you're busy, we could postpone. Oh, no, no, it's fine, I'm available. But I just hope there's nothing wrong. Um, there's something really important we need to talk about. Something important? Yes. Um, okay, I'll, I'll be there right away. Okay, all right. I'll be waiting for you, then. Okay. I'm sorry, madam. Okay. I have an emergency I have to attend to. Oh. So I have to leave. But Bola is more than capable and she'll handle everything. I do oh. apologize. But our meeting to go and actually view the buildings is still up for next week. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for understanding. No Bola, please bring my bag to the car. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what happened? Um, nothing. Hi, Sister Erica. Hi, Sister Frances. Please, sit. Thank you.
You asked to see me? Yes. Um, I wanted to tell you the good news. Good news? What good news? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering if you could help us organize the wedding. Hmm? Oh, th the, the wedding? Yes, we're thinking between uh, the first and the second Saturday of next month. Next month? And seeing how well you've organized the singles convention over the past few years, I was wondering if um, we could help us handle our wedding. You guys are joking, right? <laughs> you must be paying the fast one of me because I'm not going to sit here and allow her to take what's rightfully mine. Um, what's what's rightfully yours? It's you, Pastor Jude. Yes. <laughs> what else do I need to do for you to see? Uh, I uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't know. That's because you didn't look hard enough. I mean, <laughs> right here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but you know, it's 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 a bit too late. No, it's not. She is not taking hey, my no, 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 Hey, 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 stop. Still waiting for <laughs> a response. Oh. It would be an honor. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Okay. Take See care. You. Oh, I wish you, I wish you, I wish you that I really have a heart. Then I only stone filled with inside. I really have a heart. Oh, I wish you, I wish you, I wish that I really have a heart. Good evening, Tobias. Oh, Gloria, today's not laundry day. What yeah. are you doing here? Good evening. Madam. Mm. Tobias, what is it? Mm, Madam, you know... A part of me want to talk, a part of me is telling me, shut up. And a part of me want to... Madam, please wait, no thanks, sorry. Uh, they say, oh, if I find, well, I find a good thing. So I go and find my skeleton, that's my rib. It is her. I propose to Gloria. And uh, Gloria, I say to marry me, he, irrespective of my condition. He decides he want to marry me. What is with everybody today? Am I the only one that everybody wants to share their good news with? <laughs> ah, ma ma Madam, sorry, no fix. Don't fix. Court time is the best. Just hold on. Eh? Position and wait for your blessing. say I am sad, but on the other hand, I am happy that um, you have come back to your senses. Uh, all that that wicked pastor did was to take your fat, fat offering and salary and... Is that it's enough? Uh, water. Thank you, <laughs> My sweet. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh. Yeah. 
So, Daddy, who's this person that you said you have? Oh, it's a surprise. You don't have to worry. Just be on your Christmas dress, and I will send him over. And uh, Daddy, is he a Christian? <laughs> ah, he carries the Bible on his head. He knows from Genesis to Revelation. And he's matured. Ah, matured. King Solomon. Okay. Replica of King Solomon. Full of wisdom. All right, Daddy. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, Chief sent me. Fantastic. Hi. Please, come in. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Take a seat. Thanks. <clears throat> um, so, may I get you something to drink? Red wine, orange juice, water? Water is good, yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. Um, sorry, excuse me. All right, it's okay. Good evening, Auntie Francis. Uh, good evening. I hope there's nothing wrong at the factory. No, no, no. Nothing wrong, no problem. Okay, we'll make it quick because I have a guest from Daddy. I'm the one. Hello, Daddy. Am I there? Did you send Romanus to me? Oh, you've seen him. Daddy, how could you send me your manager? Chief Francis. So why did you send the other man? The other man? He said that you sent him. Well, if it's not um, Romanus, it might be a mistake. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. Um, sorry. Yeah, you said you were from my father, no? Your father? No, I'm from Chief Abaraka, the man you sold the property to. He asked me to come get the documents. She'll be down in a bit. Please, just sit down. All right. Then. All right. Then. Oh. oh. Chief <laughs> Okala. Yeah, Francis. Wow, what a lovely surprise. Please, yeah. come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How is work going on? Well, we thank God. We thank God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chief, who is this box for? It's for you. You see? Which I took up my marriage proposal to you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but Chief, you already have two wives. But none is first lady material. I'm going to run for governorship next year. Yeah. <laughs> Did my father put you up to this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you know, I've always admired you. Yes. Mm. It's just a little of what I have in store for you. It's very little. <laughs> Francis? Francis? Okay. 
Uh, I mean, it's a pretty nice place you guys have here. Well, I'm glad you approve, Mr. Roland. Yeah, I like it. Right, I'm sorry. Sorry. Have you ever gone to this present house? The church? To the church? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't do churches. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. It's just the way pastors take advantage of poor people, especially here, it doesn't work for me. I don't think that's a fair judgment to make on the church, though. Okay, well, I see you do church, and uh, I didn't mean to offend you or anything, but if I seem familiar, it's because uh, you might have seen me around, TV maybe. Um, Michael Archie's son. Michael Archie, the ambassador to Australia? <laughs> My mom is Agnes Archie, the controversial judge. Seriously? Uh, so, what do you say? I mean, I'll, I'll take the place, but... Great! Right, I'll take it. Fantastic, nice. I'll have my lawyers and the accountants, they'll get in touch with you, we'll sort everything out. It shouldn't be too... I have to go to Abuja, so I won't be able to do it myself. That's fine. Not a problem. So we're shaking it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your day. All right. Uh, one second. Yep. Have dinner with me when I get back. Excuse me? Have dinner with me. Come on. Okay. Yeah? Can we shake on that again? <laughs> See you soon. All right. Welcome, Chief Okala. Please. Yeah. Sit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. As you can see now, I am now a knight of the Anglican Church, St. John Parish. <laughs> I've worked so hard for God. Committed in spreading his word. That's how, why they decided to confirm me with his knighthood. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, Chief. So, the way it is now, nothing stops us from working together, spreading the word together, loving God together. Yes, uh, this, this uh, knighthood is a testimony to the confirmation. Uh, it takes a lot more than knighthood for one to show their commitment to God. Wait a minute. You're trying to say that all this length I've gone to impress you, you're still not impressed? It takes a lot more to impress me, Chief. Um, I'm sorry, I have a meeting. I have to get on. I can't keep them waiting. But if you need anything, Bola here will help you. Francis. 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 Francis Amala Malu, 
Frances Amala Malu Alu. Frances. Oh. Frances Amala Malu Alu. No, now this is totally unacceptable. Eh? We are due to move in today. And this is what is happening. No, 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 no. It's not about worrying. The hotel now that I'm going to stay in, are you the one that's going to pay for it? Um, it's not right. We just need uh, time to fix up. Which fix up? Please, I beg you. Jessica. Francis. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it's you. It's me all free of charge. Now you get this out. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, yes. I got a down payment for it, but yeah. Are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so good to see you. Like you have to meet my darling gold. My daughter, she's in the car. Come, let's go. Jess, you don't want. Uh -huh. No. Uh -uh. Yet, okay, do. <laughs> you know, let's go to my house. Ah, that's even like better. Two seconds yes. Oh, fantastic. Are you kidding? <laughs> Come now. Jess, this is your. you guys did stay longer. Oh, uh, hotel is just a stone throw from here now. Hotel? Yeah. You know that the engineer, this house that we just got now, the engineer, I don't know, I think he's from the devil. And she? <laughs> As in? <laughs> so, the hotel is really cool. How will you be at a hotel and I'm here? It's a five-star hotel. And it is no place for a baby. Oh, come on. We are a crowd, honey. And I need the company. We've lived together before. It shouldn't be any different. Auntie, say something. Well, actually, this is a lovely, homely environment mm. for gold. And you have Lord. no choice. Oh, I beg you. You know I need my freedom now so that I can, you know, think my body small. Am I going to constrict you? Well, who knows? <laughs> just, just, yes, just yes. the brings. Yes. <laughs> I know you like this. So yeah, tell me, what do you want to know? Well, you are shining. Thank so you. So I know that the money is there. Mm -hmm. What I want to know is who and where is Gold's father? Something else, I You see, as you came in, eh? mm. just the go be that. <laughs> it's okay, I will tell you, relax. You see, Jessica Briggs, your dear darling friend, mm -hmm. I clocked 42 years ago. You know that the work is good, and the money, I can't complain. But no man, so I decided to get myself a baby. Wow. That's brave. Yeah. So you adopted gold? Mm-mm. Nope. Spend bank. I want her all to myself. Why are you looking at me as if I say I'm a terrorist? Are you not one? I'll be like, let's hear, Jerry. Enough about me. What's going on with you? Five years thrown back at you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Five years? Mm-hmm. I turned a new leaf. I uh, had a wake-up call after the accident. I don't understand. I became a born again. Hey, hey! So you're not all those Sharon, <laughs> Sharon, <my> people. <laughs> It's called speaking in tongues. I beg, let's hear diary. So, any man? Um, nope. Ha! They are extinct. God forbid. What's God forbid? They are not plenty. Well, apart from that, there's also a new development mm -hmm. where I've got 12 months to have a baby. Why? I apparently have fibroid. And then take it out. I wish it were that easy. This one is supposedly peculiar and may require them removing my womb. That sucks. Yeah, I'm two months in, 10 months left. Hustle just got real. <laughs> we're not cheering, oh. We're just clinking glasses because it's wine. <laughs> it's like a sin not to clink glasses when you're drinking wine. Wine is a good idea at the time. Yeah, it really sucks. Tell me about it. If it
In Jesus' name. Amen. So, Lord, as we go home, we ask that your spirit will go with us and that your grace will continue to be sufficient for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ladies, so much for coming. As usual, um, it's been great. It's always a great session here in our experiences. I just want you to bring more of your friends. <laughs> I'm hoping that by... Well, I'm hoping that by next week, we'll come back with fresh ideas, better experiences. I don't take what we do here for granted. And I'm putting a challenge to you guys. Each person must come with a new friend. The ones that will focus. <laughs> All right, then. Next week. Hello. Look at you. How are you doing? Very well. Praise the Lord. How are you? Praise the Lord. Really? I, I'm feeling the spirit. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah, you look like such an angel over there. Just talking to the I am. You just don't know it yet. Wow. I should come <laughs> and watch you more often. I, I just, I can feel the spirit, you know? You yeah. Know? Very fine. Yeah. Young lady. How are you? Very fine, sir. Uh, just get us a bottle of your most uh, expensive wine, okay? Make sure it's the most expensive. Okay, right? Sir. What would you have, Mom? I just told you what the order is. I'm, I'm ordering for both of us. Just trust me on this, darling. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> be quick about it. Ah, can you imagine? Look, some of these girls, when, when, when they see a man like me, it's like they, they want to over-impress. You know what I'm saying? It, it's so annoying. I see if she can get me. Forget about the help, please. Come on. How was your day? How was your day? Um, well, Come on. not so good, actually. No, I... what happened? Uh, I wasn't able to close the deal. Ah, Hopefully, I'll... Good. If you want to close deals, come to me. Okay, I'll show you everything I know. Right, let me tell you about this deal I closed in Abuja last weekend. It was absolutely amazing. Right? I, I basically stole the show, made so much money. I couldn't decide between Gucci or Prada, so I went with Gucci. But point is, I walked into the room and mm, I, I stole the show. <laughs> Obviously, I got the deal, but everyone's looking at this man like, he is amazing. Yeah, I'm thinking about something. I think that's about maybe, maybe, but kind of amazing, yes? So, I mean, I don't get to what I'm saying. Like, point is, if you want to close the deal, just walk in and be who you are, right? Let me teach you. Like, I know I'm busy, I'm always talking, but you can come with me. Right? You play your cards, you can come with me. I'll teach you everything I know. Yeah? Seriously, play your cards, and you got this. Because there's nothing that you can't do.
Ah, you have amazing skin. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> ah, okay. What do you want to watch? Anything. Anything? Okay. Stir up. Like a schoolgirl. Is that all you want from me? <laughs> what else am I supposed to want? Look at me, this Netflix is wine. <laughs> what did you think this was? Oops, babe. I've done this, okay? This whole romantic love, I've been there. Alright? Failed marriage, check. Kids that don't live with me, check. Okay, I, this, is, this isn't what I want. You've been married before? At my age, is that strange? Actually, no, it is a. Um, exactly. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, let, let's be honest. So, what do you want from me? I want to have fun. Just, just a little bit of fun. This is not so deep, is it? Come on. Yeah. I promise it'll be a good time. So, why don't you ask me what I want? What do you want? May I be honest? Sure. A God fearing man. Okay. Uh, I mean, if, if, if it's God fearing, then we don't have a problem. I, I, I pray to God. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Pray for us. Yeah. Yeah. Stand <laughs> on the cross now. Come on. I love God. You love God. Eh? Okay. Let me be straight. Okay. I'm sure you're so much fun to have, but so let's have fun. I've also done this before, okay? And I want to do things differently. I want to take a different way. Mm -hmm. Not to sound too cliche, but I want to do it the godly way. Yes, I'm almost 40, and a lot of people might expect that I'm desperate. I want to settle down quickly, but I still want to take my time. Yeah, and you can blame them for thinking you're dead. How much time do you want? Hmm? As much time as it's going to take. So the church activities you mentioned, they sound pretty interesting. You yeah. know, I'm not sure if I cut down on a business trip or two, I should be able to attend more often. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, what business do you do? I, uh... I... You want, you want to open the car? The, the... <laughs> one, one second, let me just Hi, darling. Mwah. How I'm now? Good. I'm good. Ah, are you going or coming? Don't you know we have a meeting? No, no, I'm just going to grab something to drink with uh, Roland. I'll be back. Ah. Yeah. With who? Roland. Hey, guys. Roland. So we're just going to go and get something to Roland. drink. Roland. How am I back? I can explain. Roland. I can explain. Roland. I you impregnator of women, Roland. Papa, papa, yours, Roland. Roland, oh, you are going to. Roland, God will punish you. Roland, oh, you are here. We have a son, oh. We have a son. A son. Yes, his name is Fios. He's going well, oh. Developing well. Fios. Fios. Hey! 
Hey, Roland, uh, Roland, Papa Bios, don't go anywhere. Come out, come out, come, come out, uh, come out of the car. Come, come down, no. Uh. Let's talk about our son. Let's all, uh, all his only son. What your five others all over the country? Roland, hey, 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 where are you going to? I say, come down. Bios is well developed. We will make it without you. You cannot gonna mess us up. I say, we will make it. We will make it, Roland. We will make it. You can never. You can destroy my future. Okay, okay. I'm telling you, Roland. I God, God punish you. Nonsense. Useless foul animal. Chinigwe. God punish you. Nonsense. What, what, what's going on? What are you doing with him? Do you know this animal, this idiot? Fifteen years ago, he impregnated me and they just left me to hang like a pot outside. Panting on you know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Me, me, hey, how'd you go? How'd you? Hey, Chineke. Oh, that's Pius's father. Ah, uh, on the Pius. Pius? Matthew, okay, Chuku, all over Nigeria, he has children. All over, like seedlings, all over Nigeria. Including one for my cousin. I didn't tell you. <laughs> hey! You ask me, ha -ha. Oh! Now who I go ask? Major, Major Mama, where are you going to? Ha! No be big or talk. Be heavy for mouth. If you ask me. Sister Francis. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for having Please me. Sit down. So, how's your day? Oh, thank God. And yours? Yes, fine. Sister Francis, I want to apologize for the other day in church. I'm so sorry. Please stop. It happens. It's fine. Thank you. No so, get you something to drink? Water, please. Okay. About the conference. Pastor already said it, but I'll say it again. You and your team did a great job. Thank you. Like, so amazing. Putting all those things together. Thank God. It was simply fantastic. It's all to the glory of God. No, well done. Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah? Yeah, I'm down here. I didn't just invite you for dinner. I want to introduce you to someone. Why didn't you tell me? Hi. Chiki, meet Sister Frances. She's a sister in my church and the head of the singles department too. Frances, this is my cousin, Pastor Chiki. Good evening, Sister Frances. Well, good evening, Pastor Chiki. Nice to meet you. Same here. I can't seem to find my Bible. I don't know why I kept it. Oh, okay. We. It's in my room. Oh. I'll get it for you. All right, thank Princess you. Princess, one minute. No problem. <clears throat> Sister Frances. Hmm? That's the name. So, uh, how's, how's ministry? It's going well, you know. Um, being the head of the singles department and you know being single myself it uh it's going good you know i'm able to connect with everyone and share experiences that are just not unique to me alone you know i can relate with them on that level all right that's impressive yeah. very impressive so this is it thank you i have to take my leave now it's all right so Thank soon. you, nope. Sister okay. Frances. God bless you. And you too. So. <laughs> so you have men of God like that in your family? Oh, uh, kid. I know. <laughs> so, you like? <laughs> the Lord has blessed me. Wow, your Christian journey has been very interesting so far. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, um, what's your story? Tell me, uh, what were you like before you repented? 
I don't know if I should be telling a pastor that. <laughs> so let's just say it wasn't so good. Come on, I want to hear it. You know what? Let's cut a deal. I'll tell you on our second date. Come on. How's that? Hold on, let me finish. No, no don't, don't do that. Do what? Answer my phone? Yeah, you can't take that. This is our time. Come right, on. Let me show you something. My phone has been turned off since I got here. All right, don't do that. You know what? I respect you, and I love that you did that, and I owe you one. But I have to get this. This is a very important client. Hello, Chief. Yes, the property is still available. <laughs> I am already drinking to your marriage to the pastor by faith. Is that not how you Pentecostal people say? <laughs> By faith. <laughs> yes, but daddy, calm down. He hasn't proposed yet, okay? Look, look, look. I will not calm down. Because if it is uh, even the Pope that proposes, I will gladly approve of it. <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> By the way, why didn't you invite him over so that I can meet with him? It's too soon. No, I would have slapped him with one million. Daddy! Oh, yes. So I can ginger him. Don't you know how this is work? <laughs> he will have gladly, within a couple of days, he will be asking for a date. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I'll see you later. My daughter. I love you. Love you too. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh, my God. My daughter. <laughs> so, what do you think? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You like it? I like it. I like it. Sorry. I like it. I have to take this. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Hello? My beloved, where are you? At work. Let's do lunch. Um, Watsumba. <laughs> Who's laughing in the background? Okay. That's my client. Men? <laughs> yes. I'm um, going 200 million. I thought you said you were at work. Well, showing clients' properties is part of my job description. I'm coming to get you so we can do lunch. Oh, that's sweet, but I have to turn you down on this one. I already promised the client that I will go to lunch, you know, to finalize. Must you have lunch with them to finalize? No, but it's good to encourage the client who's already looking like they're going to close the sale. I see. Hello, Sorry. Yes? What's your problem? You want to break my gate or spoil the bell? I'm sorry. I've just been standing out here for about five minutes ringing. How was your lunch date? Is that what this is all about? They were just clients. I hear you. Okay, I'm sorry I missed out lunch. Okay, may I come in? Look, I'm a pastor. All right, I stay alone. I don't want to give people the wrong impressions. You should go home. I'll come and see you some other time.
Hello, Daddy. Yes, uh, Francis. Francis, I was just wondering, when will this your pastor friend come to seat your hand in marriage? You spend so much money in all these churches that um, you need to be compensated by marrying a pastor. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Hmm? Do not let this opportunity to, you know, to slip away from you. Daddy, I'm working right now. I actually can't talk about this. Just listen. Hmm? I've got great plans for you. I have devised a means to hook him by building, building for him his own church. Bam! <laughs> you know what? There's no need for that. Oh, oh yes. And you know something? I will start paying my tithe from now onwards. So that he, in turn, will use the money to maintain and sustain your style of living. Okay? Daddy, Thank I you. have to go. Bye. Mm. Hello? I'm fine. I'm at the Berry restaurant. Oh, those are are supposed to be having lunch, so... Okay. Hello? Oh, Zuma, where are you now? You'll be waiting. Are you kidding me? Wasn't there anyone else that could handle it that was on call? You've been on duty the whole night. Okay, well, I'm still here. All right. Bye. Oh, my sin. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm Kenneth, a lawyer and... A new member of the same church you attend. Oh, fantastic. Uh, my fiance and I attended the Singles Fellowship last week. And it was fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations on your engagement. Oh, thank you so much. And may I pay the bill, please? Um, okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You're blessed. God bless you You're too. Lifted. Amen. <laughs> oh, Pastor Chike. Hi, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, please excuse me. Sorry. Please, let's talk about this inside. You should avoid sin and not willingly run to it. But then again, only an indecent woman would consistently insist on going into my house every time. How does me suggesting that we talk about something private indoors mean that I am indecent? <laughs> okay, well, if you must know, I have self-control. So what are you saying? Hmm? That I don't? I don't know. You tell me. Because I don't see why me suggesting that we talk about something indoors mean that we will commit sin. Unless you go around raping women.
and thrown to the ground that's where she belongs but she A so called pastor. In broad daylight. Calm too. down. They are still good guys. He's just an, uh, the exception. But I always end up with the exceptions. Take wine. Thank wine. you. Walk. Francis, please, my darling, you need to take things easy. What she needs to do is to find a man to get her pregnant instead of all this matrimony conversation. She needs to get married first. I beg, in which age and time, as we are like this, where would the man materialize from? Let's be realistic. I don't understand this, your friend. This one is just the counsel of Ayutufe. Who is that? Okay, Virgin Mary, since you want to wait till you get married before you get pregnant, why don't you try IVF? Or, you know, like I did. Mm -hmm. I totally disagree. You can have it all. Hmm. Lucky you. And what does that mean? Please, please I beg. I spoke English. I'm please, going to get wine. Please, please. Just need to go and sleep. My dear friend, you need to take time out from work. Yes. You just take time out. You need to take time and seriously think. You mean pray? It's the same thing. Ten and ten pence. Jesus' first daughter. <laughs> Do good night. Stay with us more now. You can let her go. It's been really hard. Did she tell you about the pastor that slapped her? Mm, well, I know about the pastor. What happens? Hey, good. He's still in jail. Ah, jail. The pastor. Ah, ah, pastor. Of course, he's in jail. Do you know what he did? Based her like that. Finish. Yeah. I know now, but jail for a man of God. Which now, dirty man it? of God? Did you see the amount of pornography when the police went into his place to arrest him? If you see the amount of pornography, the man a porn king, man of God. Uh, but even at that, eh? he's a man of God, and mm. I'm sure he has learned his lesson. Now, lie, you never learn nothing. <laughs> we would carry slate and go and meet him inside that cell. He will learn A, B, C. They never deal with our rage. To take your hand and slap a woman. Come on, let's be. You two, they do. He needs to be dealt with. Leave all that one. Never Jessica. start. Yeah. You're a strange woman. No? Mm -hmm. Leave me and my strangeness. Pastor. Man of God. With the days, woman. They never days and they go daisy I miss they for me, buddy. Do. Oh. Um, madam, see, uh, get one of my cousins where he just come back. Mm. And I say, ah, can something good happen? And my madam there, and I don't tell her. Tobias, so, say what you want to say. Okay, madam, um, one of my cousins uh, come back from abroad. Mm. And uh, now, nah person who have for one make your mate. Mm. So, um, he used to be a drug dealer. He deal with drugs. So, but I said I would not take concern now. Nah. Madam, Madam, wait. I don't understand. I no, no, I no want to pursue you away now. It's not that kind of. He, he used to sell paracetamol and uh, vitamin C in a uh, large quantity. He used to bring paracetamol in carton and come and sell. Many body know him like this. He used to be very, very popular. So all of a sudden, now in recession, come catch him pocket, and then in business he come what to he crash down. But the thing be say in character. Recession no catch in character. In character, it's still there like this. <laughs> so, see, and he... he, 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 he Tobias, he, what do you want me to do for your cousin? No, you don't do something for you. <laughs> it is my cousin that do something for, for you. Because as he is, he used to pay plenty of women. He have, his hand is open like this. So, what you need to do eh, is for you to make yourself available. You position. 
Mm. When you position, my cousin will see you will check you, or you will check him, so that uh, you take him and develop him like your husband. You see how they take the repair car for Larry Bona? He just takes scrap. My, my cousin has scrap. He take him. Come on, headlights. Come on, engine. Come on, back axle. Come on, everywhere. Then put. And then you know that you refurbish a whole man. You know, this person will see you walk along the road like this, he feel that you forget to marry. But no, you don't forget. It's just because the raw material yes. of the <laughs> husband is not available. Move here. Stand here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So now, as I'm telling you now. Kneel down. <laughs> Make me pray. Hands up. Eh? Put your uh, hands up! Sigh! Madam, why you do like this now? My mind they fly. You know, say I know the life shock. I know the life shock. You see, I'm going to work now. You are going to remain here for the next 30 minutes after I go to work. And after 30 minutes, you will quietly go to your seat and do your job. The next time you want to introduce any cousin of yours to me, just make sure you have another job. My dear, I'm very sorry, but I just won't be able to make it. Mommy, my graduation is a very important event now. I know, but where do you want me to keep gold now? Huh? So you say you're going to miss my own graduation, Mommy? Joshua, I don't know what you want me to do. Huh? I don't know what you... Good morning. Oh, morning, Francis. How are you? I'm well. Morning, Mama. Ah, no work today. No, I'm taking a week off. Apparently, I need one. Better for you. I think you do need it. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Oh, this is my son, Joshua. Your son? Yes. I didn't know you had a son, let alone a grown one at that. Welcome. How are uh, you? In fact, he's about to graduate. That's very good. Congratulations. Thank you, Ma. Unfortunately, he's doing his face like this because I won't be able to make it. Why? Well, you know, his university is not in Lagos. And Jessica will not be back from South Africa till next week. So where would I put my baby here? With me. Because you're already bonding. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. Really, Francis? Are you serious? Mama, do you want to stay with me for one whole week? Oh, you see? Oh, Tell oh. them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy your graduation. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you Francis. You're coming. I'm <laughs> like, I see that you're happy. Growing up like you. Oh, amazing boy. <laughs> You guys didn't have to go ah, since that we've been here. Yeah. And besides, it's just a stone throw. If you just do, <laughs> you see me. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, my darling. I know you miss me, Abby. Yeah, now. Anyway, mm -hmm. according to our agreement, mm -hmm. play dates every weekend with me. Hmm. Is that a rose you tell that one? <laughs> you know that I have to groove. <laughs> Don't have power. I'll take care of yourself. You have to. Okay. I love you. You don't want to come again, Abby? And, uh, come, let's be going. <laughs> yes, I know, baby. I know. <laughs> oh. Say bye, Auntie. Bye, baby. Bye, Auntie Francis. Mm. Bye, darling. <laughs> let's go. Kissing, 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 kissing. So, are you sure about this decision? Yes. 
I truly want to be a mother and I'm tired of all the disappointments from men. <sighs> well, personally, I would advocate that you have faith for either of these two. A successful surgery or healing from God. Then get married after the surgery. It's possible. It's easy for you to say. The only faith I have right now is for a successful IVF. I've honestly come to the end of myself. Then let God begin, sweetie. The truth is, I don't know how. Is well. Amen. Well, I thought I should come and let you know. I have to go now. You did well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. But, Sister Frances. Yes. I don't know if you've thought about this. Is it this decision you're making? I don't think the church would still let you head the singles department. Why? I'm not committing any sin. This child is not going to be born from premarital sex, so I'm still well within the principles of Christianity. I don't see what the problem is. I know all this, but you, you see all those single people, both old and young, still look up to you. This decision will cripple their faith. Well, I don't know what decision someone else in my position would make. But I've made the choice. And I'm going to do it. If the church feels that I'm not fit to head the singles department as a single mother, then so be it. My daughter, I will support you, okay? You know, your, your search, your hunt for a husband hasn't yielded anything yet. But this might just be the way out, okay? Thank you for your support, Daddy. Oh, come on. If I don't support you, who will? Well, my advice would be for you to do that twin package, or even triple. I will ensure that um, you are comfortable, and I'm prepared to make available of about Ten nannies, and even get you a bigger house. Daddy, daddy, as please. long. Daddy, I don't need any of that now. I just need you to hold me, please. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay, okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. And as I'm holding you, that's the way. You are going for sure to hold your own children very soon, okay? Amen. Mm -hmm. You will be fine. I know you'll be fine. Okay? Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I came for my routine check. Your routine check. Okay. Your name? Madam Stella. Madam Stella. Oba. 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 Mm. Okay. Ma, you may have a seat over there. Okay. Thank okay. you. Good morning. Oh, good morning, dear. I'm Frances. Stella, nice to meet you. Same here. Okay. I'm sorry, do you mind if I ask you a bit of a personal question? Um, I noticed you're not wearing a wedding band. 
because because I'm not married. Well, I'm not married too, but I just thought that decided to have your child while you wait. Pretty much. I did the same. I took the same decision when I clocked 44 last year. Hmm. I'm a divorcee, though. No child with my ex. Sorry, I have to ask, what's it like being pregnant and alone? You see, knowing I will be a mother soon makes me overjoyous. <laughs> But being without a man, not having a man around, can be lonely. Very lonely. Excuse me, Miss Francis, please come with me. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Please sit down. Okay. Okay, so from your Gynecologist report, you have fibroid. Apparently, yes. And you've opted to have um, artificial insemination before we carry out surgery on the fibroid? Yes. I assume this is because of the risk associated with the surgery? Precisely, yes. Okay. Okay, so. Um, so what we'll do is we'll carry out our own scans and tests here, um, just to ascertain that you can get pregnant and carry it to full term. Um, else we'll try surrogacy. <laughs> what could possibly make me want to get a surrogate mother? Well, you see, some fibroid growth may allow you to get pregnant, but may not allow you carry to full term. I'd like to carry my own child, doctor. Like I said, we'll have to carry out tests and scans. Uh, Nurse Gina, yes. take her to hematology and radiology. What's going on? Girl, oh. this life is so unfair. <sighs> like, all the good guys are taken. <laughs> that one is like a puzzle that we solved like one billion years ago. <laughs> like, for real though, if to say that doctor this Nami for me damn because I take go back you don't mind me. <laughs> but what are you back to? <laughs> but in all seriousness, you think I am making you donate now? Eh. Forget that one. The guy is so judgmental. Like, I can smell his disapproval from a mile away. Story. You never view me just naked. You will see. <laughs> Matter will not change. <laughs> Be there. <laughs> Very judgmental. <laughs> anyway, that doesn't matter. Mm. I put in my phone that I need a donor. So. I hope that the one you are selecting is tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Don't laugh, oh. Ah, we don't want any atutu poyo yo in this hour. Can't you see the way gold is? Don't just come and spoil the this thing. Ah. Hi, good afternoon. May I get some 
water and like this. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me, may I take a seat? Dr. Gerald. Hi. 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 Um, is this taken? Please. Thank you. See, we have the same weakness. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. It's okay. That was me a few minutes ago. So, how are you generally? I'm fine. Hope no adverse effects from the hormone drug? No, no, not actually, thankfully. Hmm. Pardon my asking, why did you opt for an IVF instead of removing the fibroid? Well, with the risk associated with the surgery, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I understand that part, but what I'm trying to say is why would a single lady want to have a child outside wedlock? You're beginning to sound like a churchman. I'm sorry if this conversation makes you uncomfortable. No, no, it's fine. I've come to terms with my decision. I'm no longer ashamed of it, so I can defend it. The honest truth is that there are no husbands out there. And I just can't see myself going into the theater, knowing that I could possibly come out not being able to ever carry my own child. I just don't have enough faith to do it. Are you a born again Christian? Yeah, I would say that I am. And you don't have faith? Uh, I said I don't have enough faith. It's either you have faith or you don't. Okay, so are you judging me now? No. Just wonder why. All right. Well, it's good to see you, doctor. Oh, please. Please. It's okay. You don't have to leave on my account. Enjoy your drink. <laughs> And the test and scan results show you you can actually carry your own baby. Thank God. Do you really want to do this? I do. I really do. Well, there are some facts I really want you to know. You may not be able to take your child to full term. So I will insist on elective cesarean section in seven months. Premature? Yeah. There's no easy way out of this, is there? I'm afraid not. Excuse me. Good morning, Frances. Good morning. Is there a reason why I was brought to a different consultation room? Opposite down. Thank you. I am Dr. Mark. Good morning, Dr. Mark. Yes, I have been asked to take over your case. Why? Is there something wrong with Dr. Gerald? Oh, well, he specifically told me to take over your case. 
without prior notification? Oh, well, I guess Kotsi demands that he should have told you that. But you see, then again, um, the hospital management reserves the right to change consultant, particularly as regards the interest of the patient. Well, I demand an explanation from him. Well, then I'll ask her. Don't worry about it. I know where he is. See, like this one is over here. Is there a reason why my case was transferred to your colleague? <sighs> Please, my dear, you need to wait for me at the window. Okay. Thank you. I'll call you shortly. I'm waiting. Nothing. Nothing? That's all you're going to say, nothing? You clearly don't approve of what I'm doing, do you? My personal opinion is absolutely irrelevant here. Really? Because you're transferring my case without prior notice speaks otherwise. It's not mandatory. What I know that is mandatory in your profession is that you do not judge a patient's decisions. Madam. It's your life. And you think I'm desperately trying to control it, don't you? You think I'm a control freak. You really want to know what I think, don't you? Yes, you I You want do. to hear what I think? Mm -hmm. I think being alive in itself is a miracle. Once you have life, you don't have to bother about children or marriage or any other thing. It will all fall in place at its appointed time. And that's fantastic. But what fun is it when you're living it alone? It's easy for you to say because you've got your beautiful wife and daughter to go home to every single day. Well, unfortunately, some of us don't have that luxury. And I'd like to have a child to go home to. This conversation is over. Madam, if you have a problem with my decision, please take it to the hospital management. No need. I don't need a bitter, angry, judgmental doctor like you handling my case anyway. Francis, you need to calm down. You are in safe hands. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply that. It's just that, um... You I... like him? No, I mean, he's married, so it's not... In his mind. What? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in a ghastly automobile crash two years ago. But his wedding band. That's why I say, in his mind. I said some really terrible things. You didn't know? I had no idea. That's all right. I'll give you some prescriptions. Let's go sit over there, sir. Not again, madam. Please. I deserve that. 
I just want to apologize about earlier. I had no idea they were dead. They are not dead! Well, please accept my apologies. I apologize, sir. For not formally informing you of the changes. But I won't be taking you as a patient. It's fine. I don't want that either. Don't make me turn around for you. Please let me walk away with my heart unbroken. These walls hear me yearn for you. How do I describe this love unspoken? You come to me in my dreams. You don't know it And I I just said I should give you this. I don't want it. I already told you I'm not interested in a relationship with you. Hey, you've already said that one. So why do you keep persisting? Ah, no, it's your father that said I should bring all this one to you. Although me personally now, and I said I should add this one. No, it's Bible that is there. Original King James Version. Pure one. New model. I'm not thinking that, okay, well, based on just ordinary friendship, maybe me and you can just, you know, go out. Okay, sure. Today now. I'm busy this evening. Eh, uh, okay. Eh, uh, tomorrow is there. Yeah, what? Well, I'll let you know. Okay. All right, thank you, eh? It's okay. God bless you. Or oh, evening, tomorrow. Yeah, how did Francis's procedure go? Bro, she cancelled. I skipped my mind from telling you. I have so many uh, patients waiting for me now. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you later. Okay, so Dr. Felato has the good news. You still have your wound. 
Did she tell you the other news? Mm-hmm. She'll not be able to carry pregnancy full time. Ah, uh, we'll do surrogacy now. Oh, Pata Pata will help you carry the baby premature. <laughs> carry it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Um, I apologize, but how are you feeling though? I'm okay. I'm a little sore, but I'm good. Well, there, uh, gold misses you, eh? Gold, my baby, how is she? We can't wait for you to get better so we can enter the streets to continue husband hunting. Haha! <laughs> you been there. Anyway, uh, you need rest. Like, we should not even be. Stressing you out, so what's this stuff? Ah, the kind of stuff I like. And there's so many other bags too. Uh-uh. You featured that one, sir. I'm so sorry. I ran into a bit of traffic. Is it okay? Please. Have your seat, please. Thank you. Let me get this set up for you. Dr. Gerald, hi. Hi. How have you been? Good. Mm. Mm. I heard the surgery went well. Uh, yes, it went well. Um, but as you prophesied, I may not be able to carry my pregnancy to full term. No, so. no, I didn't prophesy. It's my field. I, I, I know these things. But, you know, no issues. You don't have to bother. Well, excuse my sarcasm. You know, I'm glad you had surgery instead of artificial insemination. That's a really good decision. Yeah. It felt good. It was scary, but good. Um, so, are you the seller of the house? Depends. On what? If you agree to help me give it some warmth, color, I won't sell then. <laughs> I sell houses, I don't do interior. Ah, oh, you can start with this. Um, By agreeing to marry me. Will you marry me, Francis? But you hate me. Oh, no, no. I, I, no, I don't. I. From the first day I've loved you, I've liked you so much I couldn't even handle it. Now that made me angry. So you, you want to marry me? Yes. I am truly ready for this. gonna go
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even my heart. 